let's talk now about the use cases and as I mentioned also in the introduction I'm not going to talk about specifics or anything I'm going to talk from a general point of view and from a scenario based point of view so we have like I'm not sure if you can call these three use cases or something but you can use the cloud identity if you actually want to move or to make the management for your users and identities done from the cloud now if your organization is moving fully to the cloud or partially where you will have a hybrid setup then this will come very handy and very useful for you because of the many applications that are available and ready to integrate with the Google Cloud Identity. And also one of the links that I'm going to post at the end will be a video for the announcement on Google Next 2017 for the Cloud Identity where a use case will be presented to the audience and you will see exactly how awesome and how great this service is. And that use case that you'll see in the video will be actually about the second point here. If you have a complex environment or many applications, you can use cloud identity to centralize the user's provisioning and access to these apps. So if you have like hundreds of applications, um, if you get lost in these applications and if each team manages their own applications, you don't want the mess or complexity that will come. So you can do all of this users and identity management from a single place, which is Google Cloud Identity. Now, this third point here actually is somehow related to the first one, which is if you have a hybrid environment where you want users to be provisioned to cloud and or on-premise systems, then you will use the Google Cloud Identity. Basically, you will integrate it with other applications and other identity management so applications and solutions. For example, you can integrate it with your Active Directory using another providers, another partners with Google to manage your users provisioning to the Active Directory. So you can have sync from G Suite to Active Directory or from the cloud identity to Active Directory in this case. Using GCDS, you can get synchronization from Active Directory to Google or G Suite. But with cloud identity, you can have the option to get the opposite, which is from Google to Active Directory. So just to give a simple explanation about this and uh, to, to, to allow you to understand this a little bit easily, let's assume that your environment have the Active Directory and you have your applications in here, for example, App 1, App 2, App 3, and you know whatever applications that you have. And each of these applications had its own database for users management. So you have like, you have to manage the access for your users on six different applications and you have to manage the users on the Active Directory as well. So what you can do here is you can use cloud identity and you can sync the users from your Active Directory to cloud identity using GCDS. Then what you can do is you can, and this will only work if these applications support the integration, which is done through the SAML protocols. So you will integrate these applications, whether they were on the pre-integrated apps list or if they are not, but support the SAML protocols, then you can integrate them with cloud identity. So instead of users actually signing in to each individual application, which a separate password for each application, you can provision all of the identities to cloud identity. And then once the user wants to log into a specific application, then he will be redirected to Google. So let's assume this is our user. So, and this user wants to log in, for example, to this application. So he will be redirected to Google where he will sign in with his, with his account. And after this, he will be redirected again to this application and he will be able to use it normally. This again happens to the other applications. So the user will only have one ID to use with all of the applications and all of the services that you have in your environment. And this happens for both on-premises and on-cloud applications. So if these applications support the integration with SAML or if they are on the pre-integrated applications list, then this is very simple, you can do it. Also the reverse of this, if you want to sync your users from the cloud identity to G Suite for whatever reasons, to allow users to access the local Microsoft applications or whatever, then you can do it also using two partners that will provide you the tools or the means to do this. 